My name is Marnie, and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. It's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. I put up a new video every Monday, so keep an eye out for my videos. In this video, I'm going to break down and explain the one thing you can do when talking to women that will have them go weak in the knees and fall in love with you. Sounds like a big promise, right? Well, in four minutes, you're not gonna think so. So keep listening because I'm about to give you something that will set you apart from 99% of all other men. I want to tell you a story. I used to run live training attraction boot camps. Men from all over the world would attend these boot camps, and in three short days, I would help them transform from Mr. Nice Guy to Mr. Oh my God, I want him. On one of my first boot camps, I had this client who from the outside seemed perfect. He was cute, he was witty, in shape, successful, basically had his act together, so one would think that women would be falling at his feet. And I have to admit, when I first met him, I was kind of baffled as to why women weren't flocking to him. And then I got to talk to him and realize what was going on. So on the second day, this client asked me if he could join me for breakfast, which I of course said yes to. So he sat down beside me and started asking me questions about women, obviously, right? That's what he was there to do and that's what I was there to do. Give him answers to questions about women. He would ask me a question and being the wing girl that I am, I would pour my heart into my responses with him. But when I was done giving an answer, he'd look at me, nod his head, and then go on to the next question. No thank you, or great answer Marnie, or I don't really agree with you, but nothing. He would just nod his head and go on to the next. And each time this happened, I would become more and more deflated, and to be honest, a little pissed off. Was I giving bad answers? Did he not like the responses? Was my breath bad? I don't know. So my answers would get shorter and colder and less filled with the attention that they actually deserved. Okay, now I know you're going to be thinking, Marnie's just like all other women who want their egos pumped with endless compliments. Well, yes I do, but this particular situation was not about my ego. It was about the way that he was engaging with me to lead to me distancing myself from him after each question he asked. Something you do not want a woman doing to you because when women do this, it makes it tougher and tougher to win back that initial position you may have gained from a good approach. After his third question, I looked at him and said, do you find that women are typically really into you, but then after you start talking to them, they seem to lose interest. And he said, yes, that's, ex that's exactly what happens. I start with some banter and then we get into a conversation or we even go on a date and then the attraction starts to fade really fast. It's honestly like I have her super hot and then she goes super cold and says she just doesn't feel a spark. I smiled and said, I think I know why. I explained to him what I experienced in our first few minutes of chatting at breakfast and his face went pale and he sat back in his chair and said, Oh my God, this must be what I'm doing to other women. I've been told so many times I don't listen, but I am Marnie, I really am, help me fix this. And that was the response I needed. In one quick lesson, we fixed this issue with something I like to call LCA. Listen, confirm, appreciate. LCA is a simple tool that helps you easily connect to the women you're talking to. A tool that I've now realized so many men need in their tool belt. This tool is one you can use on women when you first meet, all the way up to women you've been with for years. So here is how to do LCA, a method for active listening that instantly connects you to women and has them wanting to be closer to you. So next time you're in a conversation with a woman and she tells you something of significance, even minor significance, I want you to do the following. Number one, listen. <laughs> that means open your ears and actively listen to the words coming out of her mouth, turn your head to her, make eye contact, whatever you need to do so that you hear her words. Then, number two, confirm. Confirm that you've heard what she said. You can do this verbally or you can do it with your body language. So using your body language would be things like a head nod or some sort of expression on your face that shows what she said is registering with you like this. Hmm. <laughs> or you could confirm verbally and say interesting or even repeat back what she said with something like, okay, what I hear you saying is, doesn't mean you have to like what she says. This is just confirmation that you've 
heard what she says. And I know that this may seem juvenile or ridiculous, but you have no idea how many men do not do this, are not aware of it and instantly turning off and pissing off the women in their lives. Men not listening is the number one complaint I hear from women. And these just aren't from women who are deep in a relationship. These complaints come from women who are going on first dates. Women who were initially attracted, excited, and eager to share themselves with a guy hoping he's the one for the unforeseeable future or the one that will be in them later that evening. Both of these options quickly start to fade when a woman starts to think the man she's talking to is not hearing anything she's saying, leaving her feeling disconnected and deflated. How can a woman connect to you, whether it's sexually or emotionally, if it feels to her as if you aren't even there? Which leads me to number three, appreciation, the most important part of LCA. If you go back to the example that I gave you from the beginning of this video, you'll notice how I stated that my energy levels instantly dropped when what I gave to this man was not taken in and heard, not liked, but hurt. I was deflated and left feeling alone, even though we were clearly in a two person conversation. So after you've listened and after you've confirmed a few times, throw in an appreciation. And what you are expressing to this woman with your appreciation is that because of what she's told you, shared with you or expressed, there is now something in her you didn't see before that you kind of like. She's now interesting to you. And that feeling alone can be intoxicating to a woman. Again, you don't want to appreciate her all the time, especially if she's just telling you about like her cat. But at some point in the conversation, you want to have a moment where you look at her and give a bold appreciation. For example, I think it's really wonderful that you care so much for your cat. It says a lot about you. What you're expressing in that one simple appreciation is that you are now seeing her below the exterior. You see her heart, her mind, and the real deal her. And that is what women go gaga over, especially if they are already attracted to you. A man that sees them below the surface and gets something about them that other men don't. The more you listen, the more you confirm, and the more you appreciate, the more a woman is going to open up to you, feel safe with you, and want to do everything in her power to be appreciated by you over and over and over again. And guys who understand this about women are incredibly rare, which is why the few who do get it also have more options than they can handle. LCA is just the start to getting her hooked. Now you have to reel her in. And if you're interested in having the power to quickly create these kind of emotional connections with women that are sexual in nature, here's what I suggest. Go take a look at my top rated program, The F Formula, by clicking the link below in the description box or go to winggirlmethod.com slash flirt effortlessly. Not only will you discover what women secretly want, the kind of things only a fellow woman could ever tell you and could ever know, you'll also see exactly how to communicate with us in a way that builds the kind of sexual tension we fantasize about every day. Fair warning though. Once your guy friends see the way women respond to you, once you discover this, they may not let you anywhere near their girlfriends or wives. For more tips on how to quickly and easily ignite feelings of emotional connection in any woman you speak to, simply click the link below or go to winggirlmethod.com slash flirt effortlessly. I'll see you soon.